Hi YouTube, Big Apple here with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about something I don't see discussed very much about pistols. And it's just kind of some interesting knowledge to have about pistols and you kind of understand their mechanics a little bit more. So this is fixed barrel versus floating barrel. What's the main difference? Well, the main difference is that the barrel changes angle during slide movement. And I'll get into that more once I show you each one. So a floating barrel, or I don't, it may be referred to as something else, or a, a lock breech, lock breech barrel as I have there. Most modern polymers have floating barrels, and sometimes referred to as a lock breech barrel. The 1911 was one of the first ones, and it aids in the feeding process, and it has assisted feeding. So what is a floating barrel? Well, the easiest giveaway when you're holding a gun is to see how much the barrel moves whenever you grab it like this. Obviously this one's going to move less because of the 1911's design that it has a barrel bushing, but it's very obvious on something like the Schruger. You can see the barrel moves a lot and you can literally see the barrel is up like this. But what exactly is a lock breech design? Well, when you actuate the slide and you see it go forward, you can literally see the breech lock. See the barrel pop up right there at the end? This may give you a better profile. When it comes back, you can literally see the barrel go down like that. You can see it move back, actuate it, and then when it comes back up, it locks the breech. That's what lock breech design is. And the way I say assisted feeding because, let's see, I don't know if you can see it that well in there. There's a feed ramp in there that actually helps guide the bullet into the barrel. And I'll show you how fixed barrels work a little bit differently. But for most lock breech pistols, it'll have some sort of feed ramp. There you can see a small one on the bottom. And then here on my car, you can also see small feed ramp down there. So that's how uh, a floating barrel helps. When the slide goes rearward and you can see the barrel points up like this, you can see the angle there, it points up like that. That actually helps straighten out the barrel in line with the top of the magazine. So this is just for demonstration purposes. I'm not going to close it but there's a loaded magazine. You can see how the round just points like directly into that feed ramp, directly into the barrel. So it makes feeding very smooth. Um, obviously the angle of these two barrels here is a lot more exaggerated than the angle in the 1911 barrel, but that's just the way that the designs are different. So what's a fixed barrel? Well, it's not nearly as prevalent as they used to be. Most semi-auto 22 pistols now have fixed barrels. So, you know, that that may tell you something. It, it creates a smooth slide action because the barrel doesn't have to drop for the slide to actuate. It's called unassisted feeding. So, like I said with these pistols, you can see when the slide comes back, the barrel literally pops down. The breech gets unlocked and then the breech relocks. It has a locked breech action. See the barrel pop down. Same thing with this guy. When it comes back, you can literally see the barrel drop down. So, how is it different with the fixed barrel? Well, as you can see, when I work this action, that barrel doesn't change its angle. It stays straight. It moves back a little bit, but it generally stays straight. This is just one of the examples of a, of a fixed barrel pistol, but the 92 is the easiest one to see, or this 96. But as you can see, the feed ramp is very small, if you'd even consider that really a feed ramp, as, as compared to one of these. Like that one has a lot more exaggerated feed ramp. Uh, 1911 one's dirty right now, you may not be able to see it, but that has a much more exaggerated feed ramp. Well, why is this? Well, with a fixed barrel, when the magazine is in here, I don't have one to show, that sucks, but when the magazine is in here, the bullet is, direct, is directly pointing into this barrel, the way that they're designed. It's just directly pointing into that chamber right there. So, with a fixed barrel gun, the reason it feels so much smoother in your hand is because, one, that barrel doesn't have to drop down whenever you fire it. So. Even though a lot of people rag on the 92 and they say the trigger's really bad and, you know, that's something else, it is a very smooth shooting gun, especially 9mm. It has even less recoil than this. So it is a very smooth shooting gun. This, the reason that this is called unassisted feeding is because when the bullet jumps from here to here, it's kind of just floating in air. It's depending on the gun to close the action very quickly like that for it to feed. If you take one of these pistols, like a Brennan 92, and you try to close it slowly, you'll see that the bullet hangs up. Like I said, I don't have a live magazine here to show you, but it'll hang up because it has unassisted feeding. It's relying on this, closing it quickly to feed that next round. Now that's not to say it's unreliable because I haven't had any issues with this one in, in 40 or nine millimeter, but that's just something to consider as, as compared to one of these. I mean, if you took a round and tried to slowly feed it, you may be able to get it to jam, 
but it's going to have less of a chance of jamming than this one because it's actually assisting the bullet going into the barrel. As you can see, because that barrel keeps that, it retains that angle, that upward, that upward angle to feed it like that. So, is one better than the other? Um, it's really just personal preference, but this is why fixed barrel pistols may feel smoother. So the less the barrel has to move, the smoother it feels. And like I said, you know, the, the Beretta design is going to feel very smooth because as you can see, the barrel is only going backward a little bit. It's not changing its angle. It doesn't have to drop down. But then again, 1911s feel very smooth. But if you look at it, their, their barrels barely drop. See, it barely has any drop there. And that's not to say other, other guns don't feel smooth that their barrel drops a lot, like the Schruger has a, a, pretty, a pretty exaggerated drop there. That's not to say that this won't shoot smoother, but this one may feel smoother to the shooter because there's, there's less mechanical friction. There's less you know, metal pushing on metal, whereas this one creates kind of a little friction point right there for it to push that barrel down. Same thing, same thing with my car pistol, it does the same thing. So when it pushes down, it creates kind of a little friction point there. You can see a smooth spot. And that's not to say one is less reliable than the other, one's more reliable than the other. It's really a personal preference. It's all about pistol design. But uh, anyway, I hope you learned something new today, and uh, y'all take it easy.